Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and welcome to your second Pug tutorial. So in this one, I want to talk about how to generate your own um, HTML tags and also how to insert different Doctype declarations. But first, keep in mind that I'm using the Pug Watcher, so when I save a Pug file, it's going to generate the corresponding output HTML file inside the HTML directory. Okay, so inside this pug file we can create or generate a doctype using the doctype shortcut so i'm going to say doctype like that and then say html with a space and that right there will generate the standard html5 doctype declaration so if i save this one inside the output file we get that right there okay perfect we also got things such as XML, so for example, doctype XML, we get the XML declaration. We have also the transitional one, save this one, we get that right there. We have strict, all right, and also a few more, which you can see inside the pug documentation. So I'll make this back to HTML, that's the most probably um, common one to see and probably what you're going to work with. So with this, we're going to start creating some HTML tags. Now, in regular HTML, to make the HTML tag, you type out all right, HTML opening and then HTML closing. Okay, with Pug, it's literally just less than half this, um, the amount of coding. So in Pug, you type out HTML like that, and it's going to generate both the opening and closing tag for you if the closing tag is required. So if I save this one, we get in the output HTML like that. Pretty cool. Um, so that's how to actually make an HTML tag. You just type out, boom, the HTML tag name. Now to actually add a child element of another parent element, for example, adding the head tag inside here, we can do that by first indenting on a new line. So I press enter here and then an indent. Okay. Here we put the name of the child element or child tag. So typing out head right here and saving this one will give us the desired output. For example, boom, HTML and then head inside there. If I was to get rid of the indent, like that onto the first character here, like that. If I save this one, we get no errors, but in here, we get them on two separate lines. They're two separate elements and not connected in one bit. So make sure you use an indent for child elements. It's very important, okay? So we'll do the same thing for the body tag, just like that. Save this one and we get this output right there. Pretty straightforward. Now, in the body, I'm going to make a few tags, some H1s and some P's and also some unordered lists, okay? So, inside here, I'm going to press enter and add a new indent for a child element. I'm going to make an H1 tag, H1, save this one, check the output and we get that right there. Now to actually put text inside here, we can do so quite easily using Pug. We'll put a space in front of the tag name and then write some text. For example, welcome to decode. Okay, if I save this one, we get that right there. Perfect. Now, let's create a paragraph tag. So, below here, gonna make a new paragraph tag. Now, if I was to say, okay, this is a paragraph tag, that works fine. We see that right there. Now, if I want to actually have multiple lines of text, if I type out, and this is a new line, save this one, and we get this. A bit funny. So it's it's saying and as a as a tag name and putting that text inside there inside the and tag. So to actually generate some multi-line text using Pug, you put a full stop after the um, element name or the tag name like that and then you drop your text onto the second line indent it 
and now you have your multi-line text. Okay, so now we have this right here. If I save this one, the output looks like this, which was our intention. Okay, so use that dot for multi-line and put it on the second line and also indent it. Okay, now you might commonly see unordered lists or lists in general on pug examples or documentation. So to actually make a list, we can do so using the ul unordered list tag and then put some child elements inside here. We'll say ally for list item. Yep, this is item one and then so on. Okay, two and then three. We save this one and we get that right there. Okay, so pretty straightforward stuff and quite interesting. So it looks a bit like SAS, I guess. There's no braces, no you know angle brackets, it's all quite clean and simple. And yeah, it's um, yeah, something different. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.